Now, we have all been questioning that is police going to arrest Jacob Olanya's father, who is among the very first people that said Jacob Olanya was poisoned? That's the question that has been on everyone's lips. Now, guess what? Police has finally answered that question, and anytime now, Muzay Nathan Lokori is going to be called for statement recording at CID anytime now. But also, shockingly, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Shantamu, aka Bobby Wine, is also among the people to explain more about the death of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya. Oh my God, Bitabu say, Bitabu say, I'm telling you, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Afande Fred Enanga, says, according to the medical documents of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Lokori Olanya, there is nowhere indicated that the big man was poisoned. But what they know is that the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, had cancer. Therefore, hey, Uganda police is going to summon the following people. First of all, Muse Lokori Nathan, Jacob Olanya's father. This big man is among the very first people who came out and said that his son was poisoned. He's needed at police to explain more about what he know. Secondly, the president of NUP, that is His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Shentamu, aka Bobby Wine. But guys, I don't remember Bobby Wine saying that Jacob Olanya was poisoned. The only statement I remember he said there should be investigations into the death of this big man. Anyway, he's going to explain more about whatever he said. <laughs> hey. Number three, Gilbert Olanya. Ha! My friend, this one has been very vocal about the poisoning of Jacob Olanya. Actually, for him, started the war even in parliament before the body was taken to Omoro. He's not a joking subject, I'm telling you. Anyway, President Museveni's former minister of tourism, that is Chiwanda Subi, is on the list as well. Yes, this one actually came out recently and uh, he said that uh, Jacob Olanya told him late 2021 that he was poisoned. You get? Yes, so he's also been summoned uh, so that he explains more about you know the death of the big man Jacob Olanya. Number five, Minister Chris Bariomusi. Mm -hmm. Minister Chris Bariomusi, you're also needed at police. No jokes here. You must tell us. <laughs> Let's first of all listen to Fred Enanga. I will come back shortly. Current poisoning of the late uh, right honorable Jacob Olanya uh, has continued to produce debates uh, by some politicians and uh, uh, not so many family members, but majorly the, the father. But the public should know that in all deaths by poisoning, uh, the identification of poisonous substances is vital, and uh, the presence of poison in the system, in the, in the saturation of the body, and the body organs must be proven. From the medical records that we have so far obtained, there was no presence of poison in the systematic saturation and all body organs. The deceased was treated in hospitals in Uganda, Germany, and the US under constant supervision with numerous samples being taken regularly for analysis. All the samples did not offer any clues for poisoning. So we are therefore summoning all those persons with other causes of death, including poison, poisoning for further interview and statement recording. Uh, this will include Honorable Godfrey Subi Chiwanda. He also mentioned uh, Honorable Chris Variomonsi. We have Honorable Gilbert Olanya, Honorable Santa Okot, Honorable Chagulani St. Amrabat, Boss Mitchell Team, Muzel Okori Nathan, uh, Selected Cultural and Local Leaders, and several other bloggers. We want them to provide us with a chain of evidence regarding that other cause of death, of poisoning that they allege. If they have evidence of how the crime of poisoning was committed, they should provide that information to us beyond reasonable doubt. By whom, how the poison was acquired, proof of access to the victim, whether directly or indirectly, any parallel certificates of death, uh, to mention but a few. So the file of offensive communication uh, is uh, ongoing at uh, uh, CID headquarters uh, in Chivuli. 
Well, that is the spokesperson of Uganda Police, Afande Fred Nanga. Now, guys, what do you make of this development? Because this is what we have all been waiting for. Yes, this is what we have all been waiting for. Do you think it's right for police to summon these people? Or you have a different thought about this whole issue? The comment section is right there for you. Please comment so that we can know your thought. But also, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.